the famous exhumations English poet Lord Byron about the English poet Lord Byron and history of his exhumation another look exhumations George Gordon Lord Byron 1788 1824 English romantic poet after lord byron died in missolonghi greece his body was returned to london he had expected to be buried in a marble tomb in westminster abbey but the dean of westminster refused feeling the poet had been too notorious for a place in poet's corner finally on june twelfth eighteen twenty four lord byron was laid to rest alongside fifteen other byrons in the family vault beneath hucknall parish church at hucknall torcard not far from newstead england the vault was opened twice in the decades that followed the first time was in eighteen fifty two when a velvet draped coffin containing the body of lord byron's thirty-eight-year-old daughter augusta ada lady lovelace by his wife annabel was lowered into it during the interment of ada lord byron's coffin was not disturbed the second and last official opening of the family vault occurred on the evening of june fifteenth nineteen thirty eight and this time the lid of lord byron's coffin was removed and the poet was seen again one hundred and fourteen years after his burial what had motivated the opening of the vault had been the desire of the church vicar rev canon t g barber to clear up all doubts as to the poet's burial place and compile a record of the contents of the vault there were forty witnesses on hand for the vault opening but only the males descended into the vault itself of these three remained and another appeared later for a glimpse of lord byron in the twentieth century first the wooden lid of lord byron's lead casket was easily raised inside was another lid made of lead and when this was raised there was still a third lid made of wood the final lid was pulled off and there lay byron plain one of the witnesses a e holdsworth the churchwarden noted what they saw we were able to see lord byron's body which was in an excellent state of preservation no decomposition had taken place and the head torso and limbs were quite solid the only parts skeletonized were the forearms hands lower shins ankles and feet though his right foot was not seen in the coffin holdsworth later wrote biographer elizabeth longford his right foot was detached from his leg and lay at the bottom of the coffin the hair on his head body and limbs were intact though gray his sexual organ showed quite abnormal development there was a hole in his breast and at the back of his head where his heart and brains had been removed these are placed in a large urn near the coffin the following day the coffin was closed the vault was sealed and lord byron was left to sleep his eternal sleep in privacy once more